Make the memories sweet. Rise before the sun cracks his smile to the sky. Make your sweetheart his breakfast and kiss him ever so sweetly his daily goodbye. Give him hope with your words, protection with your prayers, kindness transferred, unconditional love in your stairs. Make the memories sweet. Dress yourself pretty, bless him with a beautiful sight to see. Be patient, loving, gentle, and meek. Let him remember your presence with the fresh fragrances that kiss your skin and linger in rooms long after you walk out of them. Make the memory sweet. Let your skin be soft to the touch. Let your lips say, I love you so much. Let your gentle spirit draw him near. Let your prayer life cast out all fear. Sing joyful praises unto the Lord. Boast of his faithfulness and his glory. Make your life be worth sharing the story. Make the memory sweet. Let the aroma of your home evoke the most nostalgic thoughts. Let the love you pour out be all your family wants. Let the food be good, warm, and nutritious. Let it be comforting, overflowing with love and delicious. Let the baked goods be that which hold dear in bellies and memories. Make them sweet. Let your little ones lend their hands to help. Let them participate in cultivating the love that you want to be felt. Let them laugh, let them run, let them play. Let them jump, let them leap, let them gaze. Make the memories sweet. Be intentional about every moment and live every moment with intention. Make home be the best place on earth that they never fail to mention. Make it safe, make it secure. Let it never be uncertain, let it never be unsure. Make it a haven, a retreat, a resting place where comfort and joy meet. Let it be hospitable, a place where fellowship happens daily. Let it be beautiful, a place where grace and mercy are plenty. Make it special. Baby girl, make it, make it feel like cold iced tea on a hot summer day. Make it quench thirst like fresh squeezed lemonade. Make it sound like a happy dance with Tap shoes, make it medicine that sparks smiles and cures the blues. Make it old fashioned like ginger snap cookies, make it wholesome like old cinema movies. Make it smell like marshmallows roasting over a fire. Make it warm, a sanctuary to be desired. Make it colorful like flowers in the spring. Make it lovely like the joy sunshine brings. Make it calm like a river. Make it grow like a tree. Make it shine like silver. Make it gather like a swarm of honeybees. Make the memories sweet. Make it poetic like Maya Angelou. Make it classy like old fancy cars. Make it gospel centered, not forgetting who and whose you are. Make it memorable like grandma, traditional like the Bible. Make it sound like a good time. Make it reawaken like revival. Make it strong like daddy working in the yard. Make it generational like legacy. Make it a keepsake like a childhood card. Make it priority like necessity. Make the memories sweet. Make it last like canned goods. Make it satisfied like completed tasks. Make it adventurous like a hike in the woods. Make it accommodating so they never have to ask. Make it cultural like the continents. Make it grow like watered roots. Make it notable like prominence. Make it bear good things like fruit. 
Make it sing like choirs on Sunday morning. Make it soothe like hot soup. Make it comfortable. Make it a good memory maker. Make it timeless like old music. Make it a place that honors our creator. Make it close-knit like sisters. Make it tight like big mama's hugs. Make it respectful like Mrs. and Mr. Make it bubbly like dish suds. Make it tender like a slow-cooked pot roast. Make it homemade like biscuits and gravy. Make it harmonized like the perfect notes. Make it smooth like the skin of a baby. Make it inspirational like Martin. Make it royalty like King. Make it elegant like Coretta. Make it feel like the sweetest thing. Make it flavorful like soul food. Make it charming like antique furniture. Make it dainty like graceful moods. Make it sound hearty like the voice of a worshiper. Make it forgiving like God. Make it safe like his arms. Make it cozy. Make it feel like peace. Make it taste like home-cooked meals made from scratch. Make it gentle like fresh laundered sheets. Make it serene. Make it clean. Make it soft. Make it a treat. Make it safe like your bosom, a place that nurtures the weak. Make it home, my dear. Make it complete. Make it last forever, my darling. Make the memories sweet. Hello, dear homemakers. This is Angel. And this is Habits of a Homemaker. Thank you for listening to my original poem called Make the Memory Sweet. Over here in this community, I teach you how to cultivate godly character and habits within your home for the glory of God. I am the author of Blessed Beyond the Bruises and How to Be a Successful Homemaker e-guide where I teach you everything you need to know to thrive in your homemaking. You can purchase yours today on my website, habitsofahomemaker.com So today ladies I want to just speak from the heart and talk to you all about a little bit of what I shared in my poem the inspiration behind it which is making the memory sweet Oftentimes I think about the memories that I'm creating for my family for my husband, for my four little children, for myself. I think about the things that I do every day and how they will help cultivate and shape the things that my family remembers about me, remembers about our home. And I always want those things to be sweet. I want them to be biblically sound. I want them to be filled with love. I want them to embody everything that I shared in my poem. You know, memories, they matter. They absolutely matter. And, you know, I think about my memories as a child, the good ones and the bad ones and how it affects you, how it affects your mood and how it affects your ideas and your beliefs and your dreams and the decisions you make, how it affects how you feel, how it affects your relationships with others and yourself, even the Lord. Making the memory sweet. I want to be that wife, that mother, that homemaker who makes an environment for her family that is more precious than anything else on this earth. I want to make it so comforting, so loving. I want to give myself away to the service, to the ministry of homemaking and serving my family 
as unto the Lord. I want my children to be happy. I want them to have the joy of the Lord. I want them to just feel like they can be whoever and all that God has called them to be. I want them to feel free in our home. I want them to know that they're not a burden to me, that they're not a nuisance or something that stopped me from living my dream. I want them to feel, taste, and see that they are good, that they are loved, that they are wanted. I I want them to have fun. I want them to be kids. I want them to remember everything that we did. I want to make home a place that going back to even in the mind is a wonderful experience. I don't want it to be a place that is cold, hard, a place that's full of resentment, full of scars. I don't want my husband to feel like he is on the chopping block. I don't want him to have bitter memories of some evil, (laughs) nagging wife. I don't want my home filled with bitterness and strife. I want it to be, oh, I want it to be just safety. I want it to be unconditional love. I think about this almost every day because I want the memories that we create in this place to be glorifying to the Father. I want him to look down from heaven and I want him to feel proud that I'm his daughter. I really want to make sweet memories in this beautiful home that he's blessed us with. And ladies, I want you to do the same. I want you to be grateful Grateful for the home that your husband's and that God has provided. I want you to make it sweet. No matter if you live in an apartment, a townhouse, if you are living in the basement with your in-laws. No matter what. I want you to practice gratitude. I want you to rise up every day and I want you to make your home the best place on earth because it is think about it out of all the places on earth your home is the one place the one place where you have the freedom to do whatever you want You can cultivate it however you want. You can make it smell however you want. You can make it look however you want. You can make the food taste however you want. You can dress yourself, do your kids' hair however you want. Isn't that a blessing? It's such a blessing, the freedom that we have in our homes the ability to cultivate that sacred space that we can be safe in, that we can be whole in, that we can worship God in freely. And nobody can tell us to hush our mouth. Nobody can silence us. It's freedom. It's freedom in being at home. It's freedom in creating a home. So don't save your quote-unquote good stuff for some other day. Pull out your garments, girl, and put them on. 
Wear the finest linens that you have. Dress yourself up. Look beautiful every day. Make sure you smell good. You want to make sure that you are giving your family and yourself the best that you've got. Don't look run down and raggedy every day and then all of a sudden get spruced up because you have somewhere else to go. (laughs) That's not right. That's not fair to you or them. Be intentional about every day. Let them remember that you were the woman, the lady of the house who got herself ready every single day, who presented her best self to her family, for her family. Grab a copy of my Feminine Hygiene Tips Pockety Guide so you could have some tips on how to stay fresh and smelling and looking good and your best. We have to care about ourselves. It's vital. It's important. And this is what we have to teach our daughters. Even now, at five years old, I show my baby girl how to conduct herself like a young lady, how to sit, how to speak, how to move about, what words not to repeat. (laughs) I have to show her how to be, how to conduct herself. These are all important things. I want her to have memories of a mommy who not only loved her, but cared about all the simple things. I want her to know that we do our hair. We brush our hair every day. We make it look nice. I want her to know how to keep her nails done and groomed. I want her to smell sweet even now so sometimes I do spray on a little perfume (laughs) I want her to remember my presence in her life as feminine as gentle as loving and nurturing I want her to remember me as an encourager I want her to always feel supported and validated I want her to feel uplifted and edified. And that even goes for my sons. I want them to know and to see firsthand what a lady acts like, what she walks like, what she talks like. I want them to have a good example in me. I want those to be their memories because one day, Lord willing, They will be married and have families of their own. And I want them to be able to remember their home, the home that their father and I created for them. I want them to remember it as a place of faith, a place where God was worshiped daily. I want them to remember it as a place of safety, of rest, of fun. I want them to know that they're blessed. I want them to remember us doing things together, fun things like dancing in the living room. I want them to remember us baking in the kitchen and making brownies. I want them to remember us snuggling up and reading their favorite books. I want them to remember us trying out new recipes and being adventurous with things. I want them to remember Family Fun Fridays and us going to church on Sunday morning. I want them to remember the wholesomeness in our home. I really just want to be intentional about making the memory sweet. Ladies, it's so 
important. It's so vital that we are mindful of what we're doing in our homes every single day. Because what we do today, that will be what our children, what our husbands remember tomorrow. What we do today, in this day, right here, right now, in this moment. Are your children going to remember you as the mom who was always scrolling on social media? Are your children going to remember you as the mom who constantly just lost her cool, was yelling all day long, frustrated or depressed and locked up in a room? Is your husband going to remember you as the wife who never showed him any affection, who always nagged about things that weren't done or nitpicking about all his imperfections. I want you to think about everything that matters to you. I want you to think about all of the memories in your life, in your childhood, that made life worth living, that made it enjoyable, that made it unique, that made it fun, that made it sweet. And I want you to take that and put that into your home. I want you to use that to inspire you to be the best homemaker that you can possibly be. I want you to think every day about what you can do to make the memories in your home sweet. Because... What we're doing, what we're creating, this is our legacy. If you don't like how things have been going in your home, if you don't like how you've been operating things, how you speak to your children or your husband, maybe you don't like how you dress, maybe you don't like how your home feels, maybe you don't like how it looks and need to spruce it up a bit. I want you to be encouraged. I want you to know that right now, in this very moment, God is waiting to help you. That his Holy Spirit is there to lead and guide you, to give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, to help you navigate through this life and to make it worthwhile to make your home a haven, a sanctuary, a wonderful place on earth. So smile, darling, because grace and newness are here and God's power has the ability to make all of those old things disappear. You are a brand new creature in Christ and he is cleansing you, he's strengthening you, he's loving on you. So right now, in this moment, in this day, in this season, I pray that God would strengthen you, that he would comfort you, that he would refresh you inside and out, that he would make all of those old things new, that your spirit wouldn't be dormant, that you would be encouraged that your house would be full of love, that it would be a home. I pray that you would see yourself the way God sees you. And I pray that in this season, you would bear good quality fruit. Sister, I love you. And most importantly, Jesus does too. So, make the memories sweet.